Hello, everybody. Welcome to our studio. Welcome to our Dance for PD Pro class. I'm really pleased to be working with Richard X. Bennett on piano and Kaylee McLaughlin, who's going to be helping uh, represent uh, seated activities. And we're thrilled to start with you. So just take, making sure, because this is an optional standing class, if you like, making sure you have space around you, making sure you have a nice even surface, nothing that you're going to run into or trip over around you. Um, and we're going to take a wide base and just feel your weight dropping into your feet for a moment. Yeah. And a gentle shift from one side to the other, really small, almost like you're kind of slow motion riding the New York subway without holding on to anything. Call it subway surfing, right? Just side to side. And then gathering a little bit in the front and opening the chest. So you're not really leaning back, but you are opening and just arcing a little bit. So again, forward and letting the music kind of open your ribs and your soul and your fingers. And again, shifting side to side. See how soft you can be in your ribs, right? So as you lean to one side, the entire rib cage gently, one rib at a time, comes over to that side. So we're trying not to move as a block and more as a giant Pacific sea kelp forest, side to side. And that same undulation forward and back, so forward and open and forward and open, reaching out, pressing down. Again, from the bottom, reach away from the earth and then replanting yourself down. Good. One arm is going to carve through and scoop under. Allow your elbow to lead up. and carve with both arms so you go around curving under elbows lead you up to the diagonal opening side we're going to ripple through again opening the chest curving under beautiful let your elbows lead you up hands unfurl Taking a little scattering. Gentle shift side to side. Shift. Soft in your knees. Sparkle. Sparkle. Again, soft. Wait. 
surfing opening your palms <sighs> fantastic thank you good work all right excellent let's move on and focus on our feet a little bit I want you to be safe here so if you feel like you need to hold on to a chair or a piano or a kitchen table feel free to do so um, I'm going to take a nice solid base below and I want to start with a little bit of weight shift to the front so we're going to go front and center and front and center we're going to work through the foot two times bum, ba, ba. we'll go again so it's just a very basic salsa move letting our weight drop and then we press and drop and press and drop. We're gonna walk out to the side and come back together. Walk out to the side and come back. And then we'll take our salsa to the side four times. Shoo, ba, bum, yum, ba, bum, ba, ba, ba. With that whole pattern and then go the other side and then we'll get into our salsa a little bit more as we go along. All right, so about five, six, here we go. And push, push, other side. We go front, front. Push, ready to walk out on your first side. We go a walk. Walk. 
So four times, same side. Good. Start with the whole thing on the other side. We go front. Front. Push through. Drop. Push. Other side. We go drop. Drop. Nice. Push through. Good. Walking out, we go walk. Center. Again, walk. And four to the side. Nice. Good. Take your partner. Just a little shift side to side. I'm still working through the foot, kind of dropping the heel each time. Nice. Switch arms. First set, you're going to dip your partner and come up. Same side. And roll your partner, partner gently to the other side. Dip it. And up. Good. Back to our salsa step. We go front. through that ankle each time out. Hey. Good. Four to the side. Taking your partner, we dip. We And up. Roll your partner over the other side. with our side salsa right level one. Nice. Let's try one in each direction. So we're gonna go front, front, side, side. To the side. Again, front. Good work. Let's come back and just open up into a little bit of a second position. And we'll take some plies all together. So the basic idea of this is that we're thinking about oppositional movement. So as I go down here, I'm also going out with my elbows. And two. And then as I reverse, I'm going to do another plie, but I'm going to open my palms to the sky. Four. Again, plie, and stretch, and plie, and stretch. Now, as I'm doing that, I'm making sure my knees are going right over my toes. So at any point when I feel like I'm going forward in my knees, just bring your toes in a little bit so you can really support that weight. You should feel like you've just kind of landed from outer space, and you have this big landing pad. That's our support, yeah? From here, we're gonna take a big stretch over. Now, as I stretch over, I'm gonna reach with the opposite arm just to keep my, my counterbalance there. And the same thing on the other side. So again, that opposition, we were working opposition up and down. Now I'm working opposition on that diagonal. 
right? And then we give you a little bit of time to use your plie to explore a hand articulation, almost like a, an adorno from tango. So see if you can find that articulation, but allow your weight to shift through your plie as you're doing it. I'll guide you through that when we get there, all right? And then we'll come into first position, we'll do the same pattern. So, nice wide second position. Feel comfortable placing your feet where you can track your knees right over your toes. Toes are long into the floor, a little bit of pressure between your hands. Five and six and seven. Here we go. We soften. Yes. 
finishing with our arms in first position and second position and soften down. All right. Fantastic. Beautiful work, Richard. That was gorgeous. All right, very good. So we're going to start to do a little bit of traveling. Again, a uh, good time to check in with your surroundings. Make sure you have a little space. Uh, make sure the floor around you is even any time. Uh, you're always welcome to, to join Haley. Uh, sorry, Kaylee in the chair. Haley. Kaylee in the chair and, um, and follow her. Uh, you're also always welcome to hold on to something in your, in your room, uh, whether that's a, a table, chair, piano, another person. Um, so we're going to start a little walking pattern. And we're going to go side together, side together, front, side, back step so you'll notice that as i'm traveling it's the foot that i've kind of left behind that's going to do the work around now if back is not comfortable you're welcome to do front side side and come in so that's another adaptation you're absolutely welcome to make right a one and a two and a three and a four we step we step we step Around we go a side, a two, a three, and four, a front, a side, a back, and close. Now we're going to go back to what we just did. We're going to do kind of a, a Gene Kelly tribute, which is opening up to the rain and coming back, and opening up to the rain and back. And then from here, I'm going to stomp, stomp, a three, a four, a five, a six row release and then we'll start the whole pattern to the other side so those stomps really um, they're much more percussive than your step your step here is very light I'm touching the floor I'm connecting with the floor but I'm not making a rhythm in the floor the second one has a little bit more of a percussive feel to it ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -ba. we'll start the whole pattern again let's try that much and we'll see where we are, and then we'll add on to it. So, about five, a six, a seven, here we go, we step aside. Side, back, other side, we go a step. Front, side, back, let's try that one more time. Step. I'm keeping my foot on the floor that whole time, so it's, a, it's almost like a extra support. I touch front, I touch, I touch, opening, we go open, and, 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 stomp, 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 nice. Float, opening to the other side, open. Stomping one. You can apologize to your neighbors later. And up. Whole thing starts again. Front. Side. Back. One more time. We go. Bend in the knees, so we're always operating through a plie in this. Shum, shum, shum. Ready to open? Happy to the rain, and oh yes, open yourself to that rain. Stomping down, we go. Stomp. side swing and in and swing and 
in. Step and press. Let's try that one more time. We go up and in. I'm taking a little bit of a spiral now in my back. Big step and press. Up, in, up, in, up, in, up. One more time we swing and cross and swing and cross. Big step we go. One more time from the very top, a little faster. You can add your hand if you want. Again, one, two. conversation. So I'm going to do, and Kaylee and I are going to do four counts of an interpretation, and then we're going to throw it over to you, and you're going to pick up that phrase wherever it is, do your own interpretation, and throw it back to us, okay? So we're going to start about five, six, here we go. We'll start with float. to us and over to you yes and now to sparkle to you and back to us from you. You're going to hide from us. And we're going to hide even more from you. And now we're going to greet you. Just 
control. Hey, big and a bass that's comfortable for you. Breathing out. And softening. All the way up. Back of your hands together. Folding over. Gathering all of that energy in front. so much for joining us today. Love dancing with you. Thank you. Richard X. Bennett, piano. Kaylee McLaughlin, co-teacher. Thank you so much. Keep dancing.